Governor Northam spoke with one of the nation's leading health experts about Virginia's steps to stop the spread. Dr. Deborah Burks joined the governor as part of her special tour across America. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther joins us live tonight. McKinley, you listened in on what she had to say. Why did she come to the Commonwealth? Well, John, she was here, part of her nationwide tour of hotspots that unfortunately now includes Virginia. Testing is of utmost importance to the White House, according to Dr. Burks. She says more aggressive testing resources, though likely, will not be available until this fall. But more needs to be done right now. The only immediate solution is what we already know, things like social distancing and wearing our masks. Now, as my colleague Jessica Jewell just detailed some of those restrictions that are now in place in other parts of our state, Dr. Burks says voluntarily following those guidelines in places like right here in Southwest Virginia will help even more. Roanoke Mayor Sherman Lee has been vocal about potentially dialing back our reopening here in this city, as we've previously reported. Dr. Burks, though, says she's leaving that decision to our local officials. It really depends on how the governor and local officials want to approach this. Um, each state has done things differently. We do know across the South, where the epidemic is now in every single county in most of these um, states, that it's important to do it statewide, as Governor Ivey did in um, the state of Alabama. The epidemic in the West and South uniformly began around Juneteenth, according to Dr. Burks, which resulted in more 20 and 30 year olds testing positive. And subsequently, she says, spreading that to the community. The White House has a goal of streamlining testing results, test results, that is, from 10 days to just three by later this fall. Reporting live in Roanoke this evening, I'm McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you.